Welcome back all you bad kids to another timeout review. Today we'll be going over Hot Toys' Marvel's The Avengers Captain America 1-6 scale collectible figure. Please stay tuned at the end of this video for more information on my huge 1,000 subscriber giveaway. The front of the box has a great picture of Captain America fully decked out in his uniform with a lovely silver printed Avengers logo backed by a glossy big A. On the side, continued effect of his hand with a little silver background wing, the little Captain America logo. Then on the back, continued shadow effect of the front picture, Captain America, the warning, please do not choke on any th these small pieces, a little Hot Toys logo, and then the same effect on the left side of the box is on the right side. I think they did a great job on this little... I don't want to say black and white, more blackish, bluish white. On the inside of the box we have the plastic sleeve and at the bottom right a big bold white A Avengers symbol. This is where the figure will be kept, all the accessories and the bodied. On the sides, the same little logos as the blue sleeve. On the back, Captain America, the credits who we need to thank for bringing us this figure same little symbol on the top and bottom flaps Captain America is written in big bold white letters just like every other figure that comes from this line here we have the accessories it comes with multiple hands this is the hand that is in the pointing pose I have to say that the amount of detail on these things are just outrageous from the blue padding to the little leather air vents that they have phenomenal it comes with two semi gripping hands or semi fisted slash gripping hands let's get a close up of this detail so you guys can see some of these paint applications and the shading the texture that they used just absolutely unbelievably done Then they have given us two open palmed hands. As you can see, just so crazy how great they can make the detail it's just stand out, the color pop right off. Great, great job. Then we have two semi relaxed hands. Um, the paint app is the same, color is the same great amount of detail on every set of hands that they've given us for this figure absolutely wonderfully done now he comes with two shields this one is the battle damage shield as you can see there are some scuff marks like he's been through a war I think they were greatly done having a little black tint behind on the uh, reverse side there are two leather or I don't know if it's real leather but two straps that are that look greatly like they're bolted on to the, this metal shield. I think the effect that they try to do is great. They will wrap around the forearm of Captain America and that's how that will apply to him. He comes with two heads, one without the mask. I think they nailed the likeness of this head sculpt. Absolutely nailed it. I mean, look at this amount of detail they put in here to the hair is just so cool like each little ha piece of hair looks like a real hair to the detail in the mouth where you can see the teeth the eyes just got that little shine to them absolutely wonderful that's where you'll stick the peg I mean look at this even in the back it looks like you just got a fresh shape up from the barber just blows my mind how good of a job they've done now this is a little accessory, it's the loose cowl. You'll take off the masked head, put this on, then put the unmasked head on, and it'll look like he just flipped off of his flipped off his Captain America hood. So I think that was a nice little touch that they've done. When you can add this to the masked head. Like every other hot toys, they come with the little hand pegs. Um, they also come with the uh alien invaders weapon I mean <laughs> it 
blows my mind every time the amount of detail from the paint applications this gold silver metal to this dark bluey black I don't want to say organism -y, but just the contrast of the both paint applications are great as you can see there's the little hole that is where you will stick Captain American's arm in there um, and it will simulate him holding this alien gun just like it was in the movie here we have the instruction manual how to take off the head apply the cowl how to properly attach the two shields to his arm standard stuff but very very helpful we'll go over the figure and the amount of detail and love that they put into this great great addition to Hot Toys lineup this is the the um the hooded head as you can see great paint application great likeness to the character who played Captain America just phenomenal phenomenal detail it's so cool how they nailed it it even looks like there's some shine to his face like he's got some kinda I don't want to say sweat but here's the second shield I was telling you about the untouched undamaged shield pristine shiny like it just came off the line as you can see the difference the battle damaged and the brand new unused shield I went with the unused shield I think it looks nicer but that's just my opinion as you can see they put a lot of time and effort into this figure they nailed it exactly I think compared to how he was looking in the movie the amount of detail on the sectioned pieces of his uniform as you can see the stitch work is greatly done they have intertwining patches that are sewn over top of other patched on areas and they've done that evenly and throughout to match both sides I think people overestimate how hard that actually is so you can see the amount of detail in the belt was also taken into consideration from the actual pouches to the metal clasp I think is great they also have done great stitching on t on the um the pants to the knee pads to the little silver accents just wonderful wonderful job for any of you guys who are an Avengers fan or Captain America fan this is a great figure to add to your collection I'm extremely happy I got them there are several versions of him out there but I'm extremely glad I got this one going down to his boots I mean flawless absolutely flawless as you can see the more and more detail as I zoom in to the little straps to the little clasps on his boots where the um, the laces would be to even the leather bulging up in the back that little touch of detail instead of just making them smooth that makes it that much more realistic in my eye I think that's absolutely wonderful even the rubber on the bottom looks like they've taken that much more time to put that attention to detail to the so it looks and you can tell the difference between the two textures so that's a little quick overview of Captain America alright we'll go over some of the articulation um, the head can rotate 360 degrees I'd be careful though because he has, it does have a high collar. You don't want to rub off any paint. The arms go in and out. Uh, they would go 360 degrees, but as you can see, the outfit hinders most motion in that direction. He does have uh, bending at the elbow, but once again, it hinders due to the costume. You can rotate it somewhat at the waist. Um, some little motion not a whole whole bunch he does have the ab crunch that doesn't seem to be hindered by the suit at all but side to side motion does the hands can rotate 360 degrees um, as you can see they do kind of get snug and caught on the actual forearm arm excuse me but most of the motion is there he is the knees bend at two points you can see now the feet the feet can are hindered by the boot so the basis of motion is only left to right 
the uh, up and down motion is kind of not there basically because of the boot but that's a small complaint that is extremely minute well thanks again for stopping by checking out another bad kid timeout review um, please subscribe at the bottom when I hit 1,000 subscribers I will be giving away a brand new PS4 or Xbox One or the winner can opt out for anything from Sideshow Collectibles, AlterEgoComics.com, or BigBadToyStore.com, up to $400. For all my action figures, 1-6 scale collectibles, and any other thing else, toys, those are the sites I go to. Thanks a lot for watching, and come back soon.